almost 90,000 destroyed and damaged residential multi-apartment and private houses, 450 kilometers of destroyed gas pipelines and 20 broken bridges. This is only part of the damage that the attacks of the Russian army have caused to the infrastructure of the Donetsk region since the beginning of the full-scale invasion. Those settlements where the destruction is the most were or are still under occupation. So, Liman was actually destroyed in four months. Local resident Mikola says he did not leave the city and now continues to live here. The only place where he hasn't decided to go for a year is a summer house outside the city. I had a summer house. I was there and now I have abandoned everything. Some went there, they were shot and that's it. It changed a lot of things, of course. Well, what to do? Life is life. More than 14,000 people left to Liman, about 6,000 residents still live in the city. People say they continue to live in basements as 80% of the city is damaged. I don't sleep at night, I listen from where it flies, where it thunders. I get up, put on my clothes and sit listening to the explosions. Last summer and autumn, Slovyansk was under massive shelling. Citizens say the events of 2014 are nothing compared to what the Russian army did here last year. That war, a specific war, you saw the shelling from behind the garden. And all the time they shell and shell and shell. What would you do like today as a resident of Slovyansk? Win, win, win. Believe in our army? Of course, Zauzhny is a cool guy. Do not lose faith in victory and the inhabitants of Kramatorsk. They say that although they are used to fighting in their area, the events of 2022 changed their lives forever. As a result of shelling by the Russian army during the year of full-scale war in the Donetsk region, 1,384 civilians were killed. More than 3,000 were injured. Most of the victims are residents of frontline settlements. Of course, we do not include the victims of Mariupol and Volnovakha in these figures. After the deoccupation of these cities, regions, these numbers will increase by tens of thousands of inhabitants. It's a fact. Thanks to mandatory evacuation, the military administration says the number of victims in the region has decreased because out of 1,700,000 inhabitants of the region, more than 70% of Ukrainians were evacuated. Reported by Serhii Kulas, Alena Hramova, UATV News.